the rest of the story. When Johann Wilhelm entered a room, one could sense the presence of a great Shakespearean actor. It was evident in his bearing, his visage, and his gaze. Even in his subdued everyday speaking voice, one could hear fiery orations in repose. Now, while there were a number of fine Shakespearean actors in America around the turn of the century, there were very few outstanding drama coaches in American universities. And so it was in the year 1904. Georgia Tech and Atlanta sought to lure Johann Wilhelm onto their faculty. A special committee was formed for the task. A salary offer was decided upon. A meeting was scheduled. All of the school's VIPs, including its president, were there. And no one who was in that room that day would ever forget the rest of the story. The famous actor kept the committee waiting just long enough to build a modicum of suspense before making his entrance, and then at last he strode into the room greeting his visitors with thunderous salutations. After introductions had been made, the spokesperson for the group explained what the university had in mind. A dollar figure was quoted. Everyone watched Johan's face. Not a muscle moved. No indication of favor, no visible reaction of any kind. And then after what seemed a very long while, the great actor responded. The offer was tempting, he said, but he would have to decline. Silence. The committee had been so certain that the master thespian would accept, but the opportunity of guiding young talent was apparently less alluring to Johann than the group had hoped. Then everyone stood. It was a shame, somebody muttered, that the great Johann Wilhelm would not become acquainted with the theatrical community of Atlanta. But don't ask me why, but for some reason it had not occurred to the renowned actor that there were actually theaters in Atlanta, Georgia. And then someone named one, and then Johann, astonished, exclaimed that he had heard of that theater. And then somebody else remarked that many of the finest theaters in the world were in Atlanta. Now everyone was quiet again. And slowly, ever so slowly, the great Johann Wilhelm began to smile. Well, as surely you've guessed by now, the famous actor did join the faculty of Georgia Tech, and he did become active in Atlanta's theatrical life, performing when he could and attending performances when he could not. But did you know this? Georgia Tech didn't want Johann as a drama coach. I said Georgia Tech did not want Johann as a drama coach. They wanted him as a football coach. For although Johann Wilhelm was well known as a Shakespearean actor, and they knew that was the way to get him onto the campus, he was better known as a football strategist. In fact, before the end of his 15-year tenure as football coach for Georgia Tech, Johann would become a legend in that sport. They've even named a collegiate trophy after him. Have you guessed its name? As long as you can remember in connection with that coveted annual award you've been hearing the name of Johann Wilhelm Heisman. The Heisman Trophy. Only now you know the rest of the story. <laughs>